Are you at him? You ready? Tell me if you're on him. Tanner. This all began in 2012. Um, as the senior vice president of the Wildlife Gallery, I was fortunate um, to have the opportunity to go on a sheep hunt. The, my company sent me, Brad Eldred, my boss, gave me the opportunity to hunt a sheep. I was in pretty good shape, but I worked a lot harder so I could enjoy the hunt. I've heard so many things about it, not only being physically challenging, but mentally challenging. So the more physical it is, the more your mind tries to talk you out of doing certain things. So you have to be mentally tough. And part of mental toughness is becoming physically tough and able to climb the mountain. So my first hunt started out like many hunts do. Um, got into the high country. We experienced weather and fog and some highs and lows. And, and I started to let the lows get to me a little bit because the hunter before me didn't have success. He missed a ram and we hadn't found rams. And it, we found ourselves on day eight of nine in a new place called the Quitters Bowl um, in Alaska, the Wrangell Mountains. And uh, it came right down to the very end where we watched this group of sheep with one legal ram all day long and at 5.30 decided it was now or never and we went for broke and when the ultimate shot came it was a chip shot really for sheep hunting 100, 150 yards maximum and I was able to collect my first sheep. That was a spiritual moment because during the hunt as well, I found out my dad had cancer. He was terminal. They wasn't sure how long you know he'd have left. So it was one of those pinnacle moments where the emotions overcame me and uh, I broke down on the mountain knowing that, man, it, I almost didn't get this done, but I did. And I did knowing that uh, I wouldn't have my dad around for very long. So when I got home from this hunt, um, I went to my dad and obviously spent lots of time with him and I told him I needed a challenge, I needed a commitment from myself for him that I was going to collect all four sheep. And probably the biggest challenge for me in collecting all four sheep wasn't physically, it was, and it wasn't mentally, it was financially. Um, anybody that hunts sheep knows that sheep hunting is very expensive, um, it's a huge financial commitment. And uh, I had to figure it out. And, and my wife, Charlotte, she was, she was uh, there beside me to allow me to spend a lot of expendable income and basically uh, future retirement income just so I could collect sheep. So uh, pulling out of camp, we're in Mexico in the Sonora desert of Mexico and mountains here, Sierra Madres. And it's cold this morning. I mean, I can't believe how chilly it is. I'm a Michigan boy down here in Mexico, and when that sun doesn't come off the horizon, it is chilly. My only other sheep experience to this point is the dull sheep. And in Alaska, the, the, the sheep are in the faces and the cliffs and, and the muskeg and things like that. They're not in this brush. I mean, these sheep go from being very visible to the next thing you know, they just disappear in this brush. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenging hunt when we locate the ram to go after it, and then to get within range and relocate the ram. Um, it's a no joke. This is crazy thick. So we've climbed to a point that we know where they were, but they're not there anymore. So we're gonna try to gain elevation, get above them, and see if we can't relocate them.
skipping right at us. You ready? Okay, here we go. I shot low. I didn't. Oh, I went the wrong way. So we have one heck of a canyon. We're gonna spend the rest of the day going down and back up and over to try to locate this ram. And uh, if, I, if I missed him, it's gonna be devastating because it's gonna be a long day for nothing, but it's why they call it hunting. So here we go. My emotions are on a roller coaster right now. There he is, man. Awesome. Right there. He didn't awesome go anywhere. Good job, brother. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at this ram. Holy smokes, look at this ram. This is, it's, it's hard to explain. Dad, this is number two, and I'm gonna keep fighting for two more. I'm a half slammer. Thanks, Jim, for bringing me to Mexico. Thanks, Uncle Brad, for giving me the platform. Thank you, Charlotte for putting up with my desire to chase sheep. And most of all, thank the good Lord above for the many blessings he's given me over the years. I, I, I don't know exactly how to put it into words, but this is unbelievable that I'm standing on Mexico soil and I just shot this giant ram. Thank you so much. There's something about that feeling that when you have to work so hard and hurt for something, it makes it that much more special. So, wow, what a fun hunt. After I was able to collect the first ram, get an opportunity to get my desert sheep as my second ram in Mexico, and then the third ram was unbelievable, the up and smoke ram. It was, it was a crazy experience because most people know going to Alberta for a bighorn's a 50-50 shot. Um, there's lots of sheep there. It's finding a legal ram based on the stipulations they have in Canada for what a legal ram is. Quite often you have to pass on a 10-year-old just to get to a ram that's got a lamb tip or something because of the length of the horn. I got real lucky and on the first day of hunting, fourth day in the wilderness, we climbed up into a bowl and found sheep and their one was legal. So it was almost like a dream come true when I collected that third ram because I was like, I'm three quarters of the way there. I just have to figure out the stone sheep. You think I got him? Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, thank you Lord. Oh man, I hope he's down Kyle. Dad, this one's for you buddy. Three. During that hunt too, getting out, getting caught in a forest fire, an active forest fire, and having to be airlifted just added to the story and the drama of collecting four North American sheep. The, the things that you have to go through to be able to be fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go, to have the opportunity to collect legal rams, and then survive and get out of a active forest fire was an unbelievable experience in and of itself. So fast forward to the final hunt, the most difficult one to get financially and physically is the stone sheep because it's in British Columbia, Canada, a little bit of stone sheep are in the Yukon of Canada. And it's just a small geographic area for that, that sheep. So when I went, there was a lot of pressure on me. Not only was it the last sheep I needed to to collect my Grand Slam. It was a financial thing that I couldn't afford to do it twice, so I had to work. Thank you.
We were gonna go stay at the top, but it's starting to thunder. I don't know if that's where we want to go. It's starting to rain on us. So, it's getting real. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I just kept counting sheep. <laughs> oh, did it ever get dark here? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't sleep very good at all. But there's sheep in those mountains. We must go. in my stomach are real. We got a pile of sheep and we just had so many eyeballs. Hopefully we can pull this off. We'll get up, sit up. We can just take a thought. Take yeah. some real good footage. Yes, just gotcha. Yeah. So, if you go right over my shoulder, you'll see him down there. Ready? Tell me if you're on him. Tanner. Did I hit him? Oh shit, there they are. Oh no. We just shot one. Getting up in the high country, finding all those rams that we did on that stone sheep hunt. The valley was full of stone sheep. Um, running into resident hunters, um, having the opportunity to collect a beautiful ram, probably my best ram. It's broomed on both sides, but it's, to me it's the biggest and the most beautiful as far as size goes. But then to have gracious resident hunters of British Columbia recognize me in the mountains at the end of it, um, congratulate, we, congratulate me made me so humble and emotional because at that very moment I knew I had collected my Grand Slam and I wasn't the only one recognizing that I collected a Grand Slam. I was recognized by four non-resident hunters on the mountain for my role at the Wildlife Gallery, for my role of being on The Experience, uh, our TV show, for my, my commitment and role of Grand Slam Club Ovis to collect that award. Uh, my role and commitment of Wild Sheep Foundation. Um, it was all coming together at one time and um, to say it was special is an understatement uh, to have that sheep. And again, once I got to the ram and I got to put my hands on the ram, the flood of emotions, they were unbelievable. The fact that I could touch the fourth ram, the final ram in my quest for four, the final ram in my quest for the Grand Slam of North American Wild Sheep to be the 2,101st hunter to ever kill four North American Wild Sheep is a pretty humbling experience because I'm not that guy. I'm just a small town guy from Elma, Michigan, transplanted to Mount Pleasant, Michigan, um, a member of the Wildlife Gallery Taxidermy Team, and uh, I got all the sheep. Uh, I was flooded with emotions. Thank you. I'm a lucky guy. The Dan Cantlin of Michigan start on his quest to achieve Grand Slam number 2101. His Desert Big Horn from Sonora, Mexico was next, and he took that ram in 2016. The actual night at Grand Slam Club Ovis of walking across the stage to collect my Grand Slam award was pretty, pretty special. Um, I don't know, it's hard to explain watching the years previous where other folks get to go up and collect their award and they have their story just like I have my story. There's men and women that have done it. There's men and women that have done it multiple times. But just for me, 
to be able to collect at one time was super special and the ceremony that they put on and the way that they honor and respect you at Grand Slam Club Ovis was a night I'll never forget. To share it with Jason Price, my partner, from the experience, he worked so hard with me to help me figure out how I was gonna collect all four. The fact he's still chasing those four Rams with the Bighorn being his, his nemesis right now is gonna make his that much more special. My business partner, my friend, my brother, Brad Eldred, who gave me the opportunity with my role at the Wildlife Gallery to collect that sheep, to be able to walk across the stage to represent our team at the Wildlife Gallery. I'm humbled, I'm honored, and I'll never take for granted what happened to me and my opportunity to be a Grand Slam Club recipient.